Hi teachers, today's video is about a popular activity at my school, the Wax Museum Project. You've probably heard of a Wax Museum Project before, but my school does it a little differently and I'd like to tell you about it. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Melanie Howell and I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. My goal for this channel is that it would be a place where teachers could come and take a page from each other's playbooks and share our best ideas with each other. So here's one of my ideas, the Wax Museum. All right, what makes ours different? Ours Wax Museum project is a little bit different because do you remember when you would, well, if you went down to Disney in Florida when you were little and they had that Hall of Presidents exhibit and you would walk through and there would be these statues of the different presidents and then they would talk and whatever it was they would do. And when you were a kid, it was like so boring. Please take me to Space Mountain. But when you're the grown up, you realize, oh, the Hall of Presidents is air conditioned. We should go there. Okay, I'm rambling. But anyway, the Wax Museum at our school is we do our own version of the Hall of Presidents. So every child is assigned a U.S. president. Now, these are kids in fifth grade, and this is in May, so this is the end of the year, sort of a, it's our last big hoorah activity of the year, and it all begins with the assigning of the president, and then the research begins. The research, by the end of the year, is not terribly demanding for the kids because they, you know, have been learning to take notes all year, so hopefully their ability to you know, read and summarize and pick out the most important parts is a little bit easier than it was definitely at the beginning of the year. So they read, they research, and they have an outline, a graphic organizer that helps them um, keep track of all of their notes, the important facts that they find out about the president. Um, what do they look for? Things include everything from what did their parents do to you know, provide for their families, if it was a job or if it was a farmer. Um, where did they grow up? Did they have siblings? Uh, did they go to school? If so, where did they go? Who did they marry? How did they meet this person? I mean, really digging deep into the life of a president, not just about the presidency, but about their entire life. And so then we get to um, early political career because nobody just jumps into being president. And then the highlights of their presidency. And yes, they want to find out um, more unique facts, I guess you could say, about each president so that they can kind of wow their audience on Wax Museum Day. So, once the research is complete, each child writes a speech. Now, this is the tricky part because a lot of times they're so fascinated with the information they're finding out about their president that they write a really long speech. And when it comes time to memorize the speech, I have to help them decide what to cut out uh, because the speech will just be too long. However, they do uh, take the information, write a speech, hello, my name is, and every year there are one or two that um, forget that when you tell the life story of someone, all of the events have to happen in chronicle, chronological order. Um, so, you know, they'll be reminded of that. And then after they write their speech, really, this is the hardest part, memorizing the speech. So I'll assign, okay, by tomorrow, I want everybody to have the first 30 words of their speech memorized. And so they'll come up in front of the class, you know, not everybody every day, because that would take too long, but a few people a day until everybody has a chance. You can tell who needs some extra practice and who's going to be okay. And then once you feel like everyone has their speech pretty well under control, you start saying, okay, I need Johnny to stand on this side of the room and I need Billy to stand on this side of the room. And when I say three, you both say your speech at the same time. One, two, three. Why do I do that? Because on Wax Museum Day, the whole class goes to the lunchroom. And the guest, family, friends, grandparents, whoever might come, they all mill around pressing the buttons of the different wax figures. And people are giving speeches at the same time. And it can be very distracting. You know, you have to know your speech so well that you can do it in a room full of talking. 
So we practice for about two weeks. Um, okay, now I need three people to say it at the same time, four people to say it at the same time. And they giggle and it's kind of funny, but eventually they realize, wow, I, I'm going to have to concentrate and really know my speech to be able to do it among all of these distractions. So we are practice, we've written our speech, we've practiced, we've memorized, we're ready for the big day. On the big day, everyone brings a costume from home and dresses as their assigned president. Um, I do allow them to bring props if they want to. I've had an FDR that brought an old fashioned wheelchair. I've had Ronald Reagan bring a basket full of jelly beans who, and he gave out jelly beans to the guests that came through the museum. By the way, that made him very popular, um, of course. And it's just a lot of fun. So the day starts out at the end of our lunchroom is a stage. And so I blew up and traced the presidential seal. And so I put a presidential seal on the podium like it's press conference. And we put the American flag on, you know, out there. And I'll introduce all of the presidents and thank everyone for coming. And the presidents stand on the stage. And then um, once the opening remarks are done, I'll say, okay, presidents, take your place. Now, how do they know where to stand in the lunchroom? Because we have taken all the tables out to make as big empty space as possible. This is kind of funny because you wouldn't think it's such a big deal, but if you go to a museum, they want a button to push so that they know when to come alive and say their speech. And quite honestly, it's nothing more then a circle cut out of construction paper and they write push me on it and they write their president's name on it and they decorate it however they want to and we tape it to the floor in rows in the lunchroom and so when i say presidents take your places they go and they stand right behind their button and then we're the fifth grade so the entire elementary school comes which is adorable by the way to see all the little kids looking up to the fifth graders admiring their costumes listening to their speeches and of course they love stomping on the buttons because you just step on it and the fifth grader comes to life and gives his speech we actually have middle schoolers that come back to wax museum um, and remember who they were when they did the wax museum and walk around and they want to know who this year is abraham lincoln because that's who i was or whatever the case may be it is um, a valuable learning experience on a lot of levels everything from the research to the writing to the memorization to the um, public speaking all of it it's it's just a great way to end the year your last big hurrah project plus it's adorable and all the parents love it and um yeah wax museum it's a hit um if you've been inspired in any way by this video i hope you will subscribe and give it the thumbs up please leave a comment or a question down below and i would be more than happy to talk to you about that and i hear students knocking at my door so it's time to go <laughs>